Welcome to the Barbarak channel. So uh, today um, I'm just continuing with my kind of a series of designs for you know phaser, and uh, we started with phase 44, 45. <laughs> Um, and if you followed some of these series, I go look through the possible, you know, like what is the schematic, how does it work. I do a series of, of uh, uh, these videos where I try different things with the um, design and then come, come up with my own. You know, it's not that, um, what you call it, it's not that uh, uh, original, I suppose. But I try to give it my own twist uh, to the story. Now, in, in this one, um, I this one is a tricky one. Uh, first of all, um, I couldn't fit everything into one uh, one board. Just it couldn't fit into the uh, enclosure, you know. So what I decided to do was uh, when I finished last time the the diagram, I kind of. Uh, so look, I'm gonna split it because I knew that I'm gonna need uh, several boards. So what I did was uh, I split it into the effect, uh, and then you know, I oh, I covered this in uh, cleaner when I was uh, uh, covering you know cleaner uh, pedal like uh, the queen I call it the queen of uh, Banshee. Uh, it's like a tube screamer like uh, pedal with lots of different options. So have a look somewhere. Uh, there's a video about that with some um, demos as well. And I had LFO here. So what I did was actually, I thought I might design this LFO to be independent, more or less. So I could even reuse it somewhere else. Uh, this IO kind of a, uh, is is board is very reusable. Uh, let me go through that real quick. So uh, if I go and I look at this, zoom in, uh, it covers, you know, input, output, uh, stomp switch, and, you know, reverse polarity protection, it has some LED, we are not using this one in, in this case, uh, and then, you know, uh, 9 volt power, a lot fits on that uh, board. Um, and then I have this LFO, and this one is pretty much, I covered this uh, several times. But th the main differences in this, this board are actually uh, the, the additional uh, functionality I added here. So I added a bit of a bias uh, pot that I kind of uh, put out of the board. So there is a trim pot for bias, and we're going to get that uh, initial biasing done with it. But then uh, there are two more uh, standard switch here, you know, and I use this, you know, it's just a standard speed here. What a, did I say switch? Well, yeah, this is not uh, my day, uh, but we'll come to that later. Um, so this is uh, speed that, that normally is found in phase 45. And then I added this swing, so it's kind of a, uh, it's a bigger variation on your uh, how the, the this LFO uh, output is like a sort of a, uh, a sinusoid or kind of a signal, but you know, like it can be very small, it could be bigger. So this is what controls it, but then that affects the bias uh, point. So I kind of thought. You know, maybe you can control it a bit better. Uh, once you bias it first time around, then you don't need to change that. You can just uh, slightly adjust it. Um, and I duplicate this part here. This is just a reference, uh, you know, uh, uh, voltage uh, is the same as, as in the other videos. And you should watch previous videos. Here I have the effect pretty much the same as uh, on my previous videos. I'm not gonna go into that too much, but like the only uh, notable difference is that in um, input stage and output stage, instead of using uh, uh, transistors, I just change that and I'm using um, op-amp, so I'm using TL 
074 uh, uh, instead. Now, when I said not my day, uh, I messed up the, the pinout for BF256B. I actually copy pasted J113 schematic and I wasn't really paying attention and, and that, that's unfortunate. Um, the pinout is reverse, so it's not, it, this should be 3, 2, 1. So what happened was uh, I tried to correct this. I got it. I tried it. I was playing with it and I just couldn't get it to work. And I was like, what the hell is going on? And then um, I realized I messed it up, essentially, in the diagram. Um, so it would have been great if that was the only uh, mess up. Uh, while the, the you know schematic works and you know in the second version I just uh, turned around is uh, JFETs and it worked you know um, but here what I did this one wasn't uh, an issue with the with the with the you know schematic what I did was I ordered um, I ordered the potentiometers but they, they were I ended up with with this first of all color is wrong I thought I would be able to fit them put them onto the board onto the enclosure and then screw screw them onto the enclosure but da wrong but this is this is one wrong value this is 100k I needed uh, one mag wrong one uh, and on top of that I couldn't even uh, plug it into the board um, you know, because look at this. Who would have thought Alpha has two pretty much the same size pots, but this one has a different this, uh, this retainer fit or what's the name? So this one fits just right in. You know, uh, no issues. Uh, you know, but this one can't because these are uh, two thick legs. You know. And it can't fit, but you know what? If you do it, uh, you know, DIY, I had some pots lying around. It's going to be ugly. What can you do, you know? Uh, but it will work. And this kind of, a, you know, just one of those days. But look, I got it work. And I'm pretty happy. And this is why, you know, uh, I got these boards from um, uh, PCB Way. Shout out, shout out to my man Liam. They're, uh, they're pretty nice boards. You can see how I uh, designed them. Pretty nice uh, silk screen there and graphics there. And, you know, looks nice. Uh, just a note on the design here. Where they have this PCB. Uh, you know, I kind of uh, made this. How I designed this, actually, I don't know if you can submit this to PCB way this way. What I did was, once I, I was happy with uh, routing everything around, and I could, you know, see where these um, missing uh, traces are. So I was pretty happy that I can, uh, I properly routed everything. I copy pasted the whole project. Uh, this is why I did this way, you know. Uh, where is this thing? This is why I did it this way because I have three boards. So then, when I copied, I just deleted. If I was using effect, I just deleted everything here, everything there, uh, and uh, I end up with just one board. So that worked pretty pretty well. Uh, I, again, I ordered wrong potentiometers. Damn it. Uh, I didn't have time to reorder. I'll reorder uh, proper ones, but look for this one. This will do. And the holes were a bit tiny, uh, so that's those are the things to fix. I had, you know, screws here, uh, but they ended up being like what a quarter of a millimeter too uh, small. Anyway, uh, why? Why this hand is the, the kind of a diagram uh, design here? 
Uh, well, um, I have to say uh, I, I love this phaser. And phaser, I know, maybe not everyone's uh, cup of tea, because it's two-stage phaser, it's very subtle, it's not, it, it's not as lush and, you know, like, uh, that moving as um, uh, maybe phase 90 or, or some other phasers out there. But I love how this uh, phaser sounds and how it just adds a bit of movement to my sound. So it's, it's not really about making, overpowering this. It's kind of like healing the sound. It just makes it me want to play more. And uh, uh, Arvidge is, uh, yeah, that's how it's pronounced. Uh, Arvidge. I didn't know that, but uh, I learned something today. Uh, she was an uh, uh, Irish goddess of uh, healing, and um, her father, King Nuada, lost his arm uh, during uh, one of the battles, and he could not rule any longer because he lost his hand. Uh, that was the rule back in the day. So, uh, uh, Arvid's uh, father fashioned a replacement arm of silver, so uh, King Nuada got to be known as uh, Nuada of Silver Hand. But Arvidge, uh, with her brother, uh, she was a healer, and with her uh, expertise, uh, and they, they could come up with a better solution, and, and, and they built uh, an arm of flesh. So, you know, if uh, we talk about uh, uh, healer, heals your sound, makes <laughs> uh, makes your another hand grow, uh, and uh, you know uh, you can sound like you're playing with three hands. That sounded weird, but like anyway, uh, I hope uh, you enjoy this. Let me play a bit, something simple. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, as I said, like it's quite um, subtle effect, and the truth be told, it's a bit tricky to uh, control all of this with one hand and playing. You know, like, and uh, I'll do a better video when I put it into enclosure. Uh, I'm I'm wondering, do they show this uh, 3D of the pedal? Yeah, so it, it's pretty much how it looks like there, right? Uh, and you can see how then, you know, this is my template here for other pedals. This is just the 5090 uh, B size, so I know that's... So, yeah, that's it for this one. Until next time.